How up, y'all? It's Poppins Cartoonist. D. Boss Reactions, babe. This is Dr. Umar Funny Moments. This man is hilarious, okay? Whenever I see him on my TikTok for you page, I get a good kiki. So let's see what funny moments are in this video. Let's watch. We want to have a Garvey baby. Lord have mercy, Sister Danielle. You must not have heard me. Sister Danielle wants to have a garvey -ite baby with King Kong Delicious. Sister Danielle. What? Mm, and she fine, too. Look at them eyes. Sister Danielle, listen, baby. We got to build the nation first. If I give up all my testosterone, I won't have no energy to build the nation. I got to build first, okay? We must build before the back shots. We must handle the business before the back shots. It is consciousness Sorry. over the cookies. It is politics over the punani. It is revolution over the romance. Sister Danielle wants to have a baby with King Kong Delicious. She fine too. Lord have mercy. Might have triplets. But Sister Danielle, stay focused, my sister. <laughs> understand, overstand, and understand that the back shots. I need you to shake that booty. I'm blocking you, brother. We don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. I'm sorry, my brother. This is not a rainbow game. Not this is not around. a rainbow thing. This is not a rainbow. He, he looking around to see if anybody go go sneak up on him and pop him in the head for saying that. Gang, this is not a rainbow bang, my brother. I don't want no men on my feet telling men to shake their backside. We not doing no <laughs> titty fruity hit. I'm sorry, my brother. Whatever you into, you go do that. You go do you, my brother. Nobody's going to the beach with me with masculine energy. Only queens. Biologically born, beautiful, black. Big booty. I'm sorry, let me take that back. It's consciousness over cookies. It's politics over Puna. It's revolution over romance. Oh, oh, I want to shake your chest. Uh, I'm sorry? Can I shit on your chest? Uh, I guess you are one of the members of the Zesty Festy? Nah, no, I'm not. Zesty Festy? Uh, you're a rainbow ganger, right? Yeah. I'll okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Can you please remove my photo? As your Instagram icon. I itch that every single night, bro. I can't. Can you please remove my photo as your Instagram icon, sir? All right, I'll, I'll remove it, but you kind of look like, um, what's his name? Bad Owens or something. <laughs> okay, maybe, sir. And I'm going to pray for your deliverance from the demon of zestiness, all right? Because I don't want you to be zesty, brother. We need you out here with our sisters. I'll try and change my way, brother. Okay, like a white pray, man. brother. We're not going to criticize you. But you just it is white man. Look at that white call finger. Call your ancestors to take away the zesty demon, and before you know it, you'll be back with the black queens forever. Trust. Me. If you get pregnant by a man over fifty, the baby will come out already fifty years old. <laughs> Are right. you listening to me? If you have a baby with a senior citizen, your baby will come out a senior citizen. His head will be bald. His eyes will already be big. He will have bags under his eyes. Some of his teeth will never grow. He will be coming out asking for a black and mild. Stop. That baby will come out asking for a shot of Hennessy. Don't have babies with men over 50. The sperm is old and damaged. I mean, that's a fact. And this needs to be discussed more often because people always talk about women and how they ain't getting older and all the babies don't have issues, da-da-da, high-risk pregnancy. Sure, all of that is a thing. But... It's also a thing for men as well. The the risk they shoot up. Chances of your baby having defects shoots up. Okay, it goes both ways. <laughs> the sperm is drunk. The sperm Not is, drunk. is tired. The sperm is lazy. Why would you have a Viagra baby? A Viagra Why do baby? you want Viagra children? Dr. Umar, how do I get laid by a snow bunny? We need a mental health hospital for raccoons like you. Oh. Or are you free tonight when you get to Philadelphia? I would love to take you to a midnight diner and pick your brain. I don't know about midnight, my sister. That's kind of late. That's 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 low chakra hours. <laughs> you want to go to a midnight diner in Philly so you can pick my brain? Uh, midnight. Uh, I think we got to reschedule that for an earlier hour, my sister. <laughs> What midnight diner in Philly? What, what we go? What midnight? I'm not aware of no midnight diner in the city of Philadelphia. Midnight is too late, my sister. I think you're trying to pick something else. <laughs> I think you're trying to pick on something else. I don't think you're trying to pick my brain, sister. We can't do that, my sister. It is consciousness over the cookies. It is politics over the punani. It is institutions over intimacy. It is revolution before romance. It is business before yeah, the bedroom. We must there. stay focused, brothers. The only BBL I know is a big blueberry lemonade. The only BBL I know is a big blueberry lemonade. 
When you hear Dr. Ifa Tunde, when you hear Big Papa say, I want a BBL, I'm talking about a big blueberry lemonade. Oh, yes. Black Queens forever. Snow Bunnies never. <laughs> Ladies, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. You should not be sending me sexy pictures of yourself inappropriately dressed at 10 in the morning. Y'all are It's consciousness Why of the cookies. Man, it is politics. I'm teaching the people. Don't be sending me five, five, thicken a thousand pictures when I'm trying to educate the community. But brothers and sisters, we got to unite. But you want to get back with her because you like those vanilla cookies. You're not trying to get back with her to raise your son under the same roof. You just want some more of that vanilla cream cheese. What? Parent, know your school. Peace and love, family. Good to see you, baby. All right, now, Lord, have mercy. Fine chocolate curvy self. Brothers and sisters. Car becomes the property. How you doing, beautiful? And your car becomes the property. <laughs> he is so thirsty. <laughs> we must stay focused, brothers. We must stay He's focused, talking to brothers. Himself. And I didn't know exactly who you are. Lord, have mercy. We must stay focused. I love you too, baby. Miss Good Coochie. What kind of name is that? Miss Good Coochie. Wait a minute. Was that a snow bunny? Miss Good Coochie. Wait a minute. That was a bunny. Oh, Lord. That was a... Miss... I got the block, Miss Good Coochie. Wait. That's a snow bunny. <laughs> lady T says she got that water for me. What kind of water you got for me, Lady T? The kind of water that refreshes your soul. Lord, have mercy. It's time to go swimming. I'll have my cowboy hat on as a surprise. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord. That 17-hour flight was no joke. I kept waking up and the snow bunny was breathing on my neck, smelling like pickle juice and oh, spoiled kiwi limes and some shit. I, don't know. I like what you're the doing, Dr. Food. Umar. Beautiful black skin. Juicy J, are you a male or female? Juicy J, thank you for the five dollars. Are you a male or female? Because I don't want no man fantasizing about my beautiful golden brown skin. I don't want no man. Juicy J, I'm assuming you're a woman. Because I don't want no man giving me compliments on my skin. That sounds a little zesty. Brother Wit, you canceled your $25? Must have a white girl. It's okay, brother. Look. I must have a white girl. Oh, we still going? What, what is this? A break? An ad? Boss calls a waste of ancestral DNA. Go ahead and flush your ad, your African race card down the drain. Go ahead. Oh. A polygamous bunny hopper. I'm going to need to move to Africa before it gets too late. He said he's a public and Mr. Bunny Hopper. He got four Neanderthal queens. I'm going to have to relocate. I'm going to have to relocate. I think that's about it for me. I can't take it no more. Brothers and sisters, I'm having a mental breakdown. I'm moving to Africa. Umar, my brother loves white women. How can I redeem him? Don't redeem him. Release him to the Bunny Brigade. Ooh. Don't save the Snow Bunny love. We got to stop trying to save, save the Snow Bunny love. If your brother is addicted Don't to the Bunny, him. send him to the Bunny Brigade. Send his ass to the ice storm. Send him to the snowstorm. Don't try to save your brother. Give him to the snow bunny mafia. Let that Negro go free. <laughs> Donations. Donations. Gifts. 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 More gifts. More gifts. Wow. You know what's funny? When I be at the airport, right? When I be at the airport, the young Caucasian women, if they built like black women, they walk by me a couple of times to make sure that I see they got a big butt. Sometimes they try to accidentally bump into me. They want me to see that they got the curves of the queen, but you ain't got that melanin. You ain't got that melanin. You ain't got that black girl magic. I don't care how big your ass is. You ain't got that black girl magic. No disrespect to the brown women. No disrespect to the yellow women. No disrespect to the red women. No disrespect to the white women. You might have the curves of the black woman. You might have the hips of the black woman. You might have the voluptuousness of the black woman. What but is you happening? That black girl magic. That African honeycomb. If you ain't got that African honeycomb, why is she on the bike curves. just listening to this BBL. But if you ain't got that African honeycomb. Ladies, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry. Nothing compares to the African honeycomb. Once you have some African honey, you're going to leave that man knees alone. Once you have some real African honey, you're going to leave that. Once you have some real melanin. He always repeat himself. It's, it's, it's a wrap. Hold on. I got a Ku Klux Klan member on my page. Let me block this Ku Klux Klan member. Nobody scared y'all no more. Fuck out of here. <laughs> so anyway. What was I about to say before the Klan man? Distracted me. You're not natural, baby. I 
see you got that perm in there. I Ooh. still love you. You're gorgeous, but you're not nappy. You got to be nappy, baby. You got to. How be you know nappy. she didn't strike me? If I can't grab it, I can't have it. <laughs> Yeah, this man. <laughs> and I know that you, you probably have access. I can't scam you because you ain't got no money to scam. I got Ooh. Negro saying Dr. Umar is scamming and they ain't got no money to scam. Ooh. You the brokest Negro on my Instagram live talking about stop oh. scamming people. And you the, but I'm going to scam you. You got two quarters and three nickels in your damn pocket talking about stop scamming. How can a broke man complain about getting scammed? Brother, please hit the Cash App family. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the Cash <laughs> App family. <laughs> Not Jared, done anymore, I'll do better than you on my worst day, brother. Oh. I, go, go get your girlfriend and ask if she wants you with me. Stop playing with me, brother. Mm. You know she don't want you. She just passed the time since she get a real man. Oh. But let me stay focused. Don't look at my toes because they ugly. Do not look at my toes, okay? You will get fined a thousand dollars if you look at these toes. <laughs> The only no, my person who ever see my toes is my wife, and she ain't gonna see them till we get married. Cause if she see my toes before we get married, I might not get married. That's right, brothers and sisters. I need some serious cosmetic toe surgery out there, brothers and sisters. Is there any sisters out there who specialize in healing the feet? The nail shop, sir. Take your crusty ass toes down to your local nail shop and let them, you know, do your feet at least once a month. And you'll be you'll be okay. What you mean? You know why your feet is nasty and crusty? Listen, I joke about my feet being busted, but it just means like nail polish is chipping off my toes. Like that's that's what I mean. But having just nasty, crusty, dry, just atrocious feet, there's no excuse for that. Get 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 your feet done. That that's that's all you have to do, brother. And I don't like men who have disgusting feet. I don't expect men to have nice feet, but if they gross me out. You gotta go. That's there's no excuse for that. That comes down to a hygiene problem. We got a problem. Anyway, this man is hilarious. <laughs> he's a mess, but he's hilarious. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're gonna watch and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.